What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, I don't know, we shall find out soon. Anywho, in our last episode, we took care of business. You guys heard me uh, rant, rave, curse you guys out a little for those who are hating. But most importantly, you guys got to hear me suffer just a little, because, well... We got to capture those pesky roaming Pokemon, yes. So that's done. That is completely done. I don't have to worry about it until later on or anything like that. No, it's done. It is donezo. Anywho, in this episode, we're doing another legendary thing, and that is the Celebi event. Now, the Celebi event was supposed to be distributed into the United States a long time ago. It was only ever featured in, uh, in I believe, J yeah, in Japan through some kind of phone app or something like that. Not some phone app, but just like, you know, connecting it. one of the old Nokia phones. I don't even know. Comment down below. Please inform me on all this. But yeah, there was no way of getting Celebi. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Crystal on the regular Game Boy, which I don't know how many people are, or if you're doing it like me, the VBA, the only way to get Celebi is through Game Shark, and that's exactly what we're doing right here. Game Shark code is going to be on the description for all of you guys to see. And uh, we're gonna be going in, and we're gonna ca we're gonna be capturing Selby. We're doing all of this before the Pokemon League because, well, we kind of we kind of need to get things done before, you know. Kind of, we kind of need to be a little bit more uh, assertive with what we do right here. So, anywho, what you need to do is insert the code, go to Azalea Town, and if you guys haven't noticed, you have to go straight to Kurt right here. Once you get to Kurtz, talk to him. He's like, Draven, this ball started to shake while I was checking it. There must be something to do this. Or there must be something to do this. I don't even know. And, well, something happened. So, something has startled him. And if you guys if you guys can see, yes, the Alex Forest is restless. What is going on? Draven, here's your GS ball back. Could you go see why the Alex Forest is uh, so restless? And we have received the GS ball. Now, if you guys remember, back when the Johto series started over on the anime, it started with the GS ball. Golden, silver ball, you know, the GS markings and all that stuff. And, yeah, they never really got back to it. I mean, it has been probably 20 years. So, hey, Nintendo, anime, if Ash Ketchum can finally win a championship, why not tie up some loose ends like this one? The GS ball. Comment down below if you guys agree. So, there it is. We got the GS ball. And normally, in the in the, uh, in the the remakes, you'd be seeing the trees, you know, float and all that stuff and whatever. Uh, and then you'd get the Celebi event. But in this one, it's just a little bit different. So, we're going to be going into the, into the Ilex Forest. And, well, nobody's talking right here about anything. Uh, watched over by a protector, stay out of mischief, we're not in mischief. So, as you guys can see, the leaves are kind of restless. Look at that. We've never seen that movement on the tree before, or on these trees before. That means something's going on. And, yeah, make sure to have a Pokemon with, with a cut, because, uh, yeah. This is the probably the only way you're going to be able to go through that. Now, I can't really press on these buttons right here. So... First things first, yes, I gotta save my game because knowing me, I always screw it up and yes, it's it's always funny. So there we go, save your game, guys. And all you have to... Really? Like I was saying, all you have to do now is put the GS ball inside the shrine. Now before we do that, let's go, let's go ahead and use, you know, our capture Pokemon Smoke to help us out. Because yes, this Celebi is gonna be at level 30, I think. So let's go straight in. The Alex Forest Shrine. It's in honor of its forest protector. Oh, what's this? It's a hole. It looks like the GS ball would fit inside it. Want to put the GS ball in there? Why, yes. And when that happens, uh oh, this guy appears. Oh my God. So yeah. Here it is, guys. Celebi, the legendary Pokemon. Kind of the equivalent of Mew, not really, but it's still kind of like a Pokemon that, you know, 
is very mythical, kind of like Jirachi and all that stuff. And well, let's go ahead and put it to sleep. Try and capture it, try not to make it faint and all that crud. So here we go, lick attack. And yes, it is weak. It is definitely weak to ghost type Pokemon, so we have to be careful with how we capture this guy. No, we're not using this Pokemon on our team or anything. It's just, you know, I'm covering loose heads. Kind of want to take care of this before we go into the Pokemon League. And, well, it woke up, and it's using Ancient Power. Be careful with the Ancient Power, guys, because it will increase... It will increase this Pokemon all its, stat, all its stats, so just uh, just keep an eye out for that. And here comes another Ancient Attack, or Ancient Power Attack, and so let's go with a... Come on! You gotta put this Pokemon to sleep. And because of that, we can no longer capture this Pokemon with Hypnosis, because it just used safe, uh, Safeguard. Alright, here comes a Future Side Attack. That can't be good. Alright. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna throw we're gonna throw Ultra Balls at it. Now that we don't have any kind of a uh, Master Ball, might as well just uh, do everything the right way. Ultra Balls all the way. So here we are. Ultra Ball. Two. Three. Oh! Almost threw out that peace sign. Holy crud! And well, it likes to use a safeguard. So here we go. Ultra Ball for the win. Come on, Celebi. You know you want to be on my team. Come on. There's insurance involved. God dang it. Okay. Let's see. And yes, we're going to be hit by that future sight. That hits us uh, a little bit hard, so let's go right ahead and use one more Ultra Ball right here. Let's go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. God dang it. Okay, so yeah, this Pokemon using Heal Bell. Okay. So it wants to be difficult. Okay, alright. We're going to be playing some. Uh, all right, so your thing faded, so let's put it to sleep, and there we go. <laughs> All right, so you're asleep, and I'm expecting for that heal bell to do something. So let's go straight for an Ultra Ball. Hopefully we can capture this guy right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Come on. And yes, I am throwing out the peace sign. Not that hard. Woo! All righty. Okay. Look at that. So here we have Celebi, the time travel Pokemon. Two feet, 11 pounds of pure cuteness and all that stuff. Is it a fairy type Pokemon later on? I wanna know. Revered as the guardian of the forest, Celebi appears whenever beautiful forests exist. Wherever be beautiful forests exist. And I am not nicknaming this Pokemon. It's too majestic to be nicknamed. So there it is, we captured Celebi and well, Kurt's coming in and he's like, Whew, wasn't that something? Draven, that was fantastic. Thanks! The legends about the shrine were real after all. I feel inspired by what I just saw. It motivates me to make better balls. I'm going. Hey, why won't you make me a few master balls? Uh, seriously, Wilton? Seriously? Okay, yeah. Sorry for calling delay. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care about your seeking. There you go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and fast forward to the Pokemon Center so we can take a look at this majestic ass Pokemon right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so here we are guys back into the Pokemon Center. We've already captured Celebi and let's go ahead and take a look at this majestic Pokemon. So, bam! It is both a Psychic and Grass type Pokemon and it does have some pretty good moves. Heal Bell, Safeguard, Ancient Power, you know, Future Sight. Some basic moves for level 30 Pokemon, and well, its stats are pretty evened up right there too, and uh, yeah. We have captured probably half the legendary Pokemon. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, look at that. We are kicking some butt, guys. Taking some names. Being dogs. Yes, we're being dogs. And well, I couldn't be more happy, guys, because look at that. We got all three legendary dogs, so that will cover the whole, you know, going up to Ho-Oh and all that stuff, because we need these guys for Ho-Oh. And we covered the whole, you know, event Pokemon right there early on, so it's easy pickings. Easy, easy pickings. And, well, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. There is one more, and I mean one more, side quest that we need to do before we go straight to the Pokemon League, and that is probably... Part 3 of the Ruins of Elf, so stay tuned, guys. I think it's the Ruins of Elf. Actually, you know what? No, it's not. Because we need a certain Pokemon for that one, so never mind. 
it looks like we are going to the Tojo Falls. So stay tuned, guys. We are finally going going to the Pokemon League. Um, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, our button's right there. If you guys want to join the channel, be a member, you know, watch exclusive videos whenever they come out, join on the channel. Thank you guys for being supportive. Thank you guys for putting up with my rants and all that stuff. I will see you guys in the next episode as we finally go straight to the Pokemon League. See you guys.